What is going on YouTube? Patrick here. It's Saturday. It's a cold Saturday in Connecticut actually, but Amber and I are at a local Savers thrift store. We're gonna go do some thrifting, hopefully find some good stuff. Come along with us. So much like my last few videos, going to do a little bit of voiceover, trying to mix in some times when either I'm talking to myself or when Amber is talking. I think that's a little bit more interesting than some of the voiceovers, although I sometimes feel like I bring some value. I don't know. <laughs> you never know with this stuff. Uh, but yeah, grabbed a cart, headed back to the electronics, started looking at some stuff. And uh, of course, my lovely wife, Amber, actually found some of the first stuff, which she's going to bring over in just a second. I'm going to get this for myself. That is really interesting, actually. How much are they? Three bucks? Got it. All of it? All of it. We supplies are good. You did good, bro. This one is four ninety nine. dollars For a remote? Yeah, you're good. Is it is Motion Plus is a $25 remote. Okay. Yep, you did really good. We can clean them, and if they don't work, they don't work. <laughs> you know? You did so good. Yes. There's a really nice laser printer down there. These are $4.99. Go ahead, pop them in. What's this thing here? <laughs> it's a little dirty, but it's weird. That one needs a dongle. What do you think that is? Logitech something. It goes to like an audio control of some kind. It goes in the cart for now. Okay. You see any golf clubs that look nice? <laughs> you want to get the twins some gloves? <laughs> we don't know if they'll be left-handed or right-handed. We don't know much about them, that's for sure. Mm -mm. Okay. To the toys, I guess, Lance. Yeah. Unless you want that cool bag over there. What cool bag? That one right there. The truck? Yep. <laughs> It's a wheelie, it's a wheelie bag, funny. right? It's super funny. So now over in the toys section, you can see that the pegs are full. For whatever reason, this savers just is almost always full. You saw me pull off that, uh, that bag there. There was just a ton of interesting toys in there. Then we've got, there was a how to train your dragon toy there, which, oh my gosh, like I should have really should have shown the camera. I was probably just super excited that I found a How to Train Your Dragon toy, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, that's definitely one that you should look out for. There's definitely some McDonald's toys that will throw you off. But otherwise, almost all of the dragon toys of that line are going to be worth some money. Maybe not a ton. I think that one actually ended up being worth about $12. Then I found uh, those two guys back there. They, I wasn't really sure what they were. But they looked interesting, right? Like it just caught my eye. So I tossed them in the cart and I ended up just buying pretty much everything I put in the cart this day. I found enough stuff to make it worthwhile and I was just having a lot of fun. So whenever I have a lot of fun buying these stuff, I just toss them in the cart. They ended up being uh, Transformers Rescue Bots toys, which I did not expect them to be Rescue Bots toys. Uh, so it was kind of a fun surprise when I figured out what they were. Uh, I used Google Lens, you guys. That That's how I figured out what they were. Just open up the Google app, hit the, the image search thing, you take a picture of it, and then it'll find anything that looks like it, which is super helpful, especially in toys. Uh, just There's just so many toys and toy lines out there, it's really hard to identify what's gonna have value and what's not. Uh, you see me kind of taking a look at some of these other toys down here. Um, not a ton in this section, but there's, there's a few more I'm gonna put in my cart that were actually really interesting this day. And like I said, it's always nice when the uh, the shelves are full. Oh, that's a great view of the ground right there. 
Sorry about that, you guys. <laughs> I keep working on that. It's hard because I, I turn the camera up when I go to the top shelf, then back for the middle, and I probably need to turn it up when I'm looking down there. But I saw that Spider-Man guy on the left there. He's Spider-Man Rhino. And Spider-Man toys, especially when it's the, the six inch to eight inch action figure line like that, a lot of times are gonna be something to pick up. Uh, definitely there's some that are not as good as others, right? Of course, that's always how it goes. I also found a bunch of these 12 inch transformers this day. Um, so like I ended up picking up a few of them just because I was like, they're interesting enough and they were, they were not transforming. Uh, but you know, it was really an interesting thing. You can see one kind of in the middle of the screen there, he's green. And then there's a red one over to the right over there. So like I ended up picking up like five of those and they ended up being worth it. They're not like the best buy ever or anything like that, but it was something where I'm like, you know, if I see these now at a garage sale in the future, I can pick them up probably a little bit cheaper even and knowing which ones that are going to be potentially the selling. So I think I, I'm definitely paying a little bit to learn, uh, but I don't mind that sometimes, right? There's another one in the upper right up there There I'm grabbing it. So like I said, not all are created equal in this line. You can't just buy them all with impunity, but I was like, they were interesting enough. And I was just like, I had seen them often enough where I'm like, let's see if there's any value here. And then Amber pops around with some kids' clothes that were super cute. Uh, definitely interested in, we've been collecting stuff for the twins already just because we had a lot of stuff for Aaron, uh, but now we have to actually get stuff for two baby boys. And, you know, we just basically just started collecting stuff whenever we can to try and, and flush that out. So there you guys go. I picked up those, there's four of them. Um, the purple guy there that I put on top was actually one of the ones that had a little bit more value than the others. What'd you see down here? Anything good? Nothing. I no? Did, I did a sweep. Yeah. How about McDonald's here? <laughs> All the... It is beat. Yeah. That is the one that's valuable though. Yeah. Pretty sure. But you gotta have all the bits. Yeah. And this one is in pretty rough shape. It's got no bits. It's been stripped. I don't know if it by itself it has any value or not. Would it come up there? One was there for like ten dollars. Yeah, like G.I. Joe. Neat. It's also like completely parted out. Is it Schleich? It looks like it. No. That guy is awesome. What was the brand? I can't really tell. Yeah. What's your gut tell you? <laughs> Look at that logo and tell me. Hold on. It's up there. Can I see? Is it a briar pony? I would say yes. Keep go. I don't know actually, so. The one that was interesting is that yellow, creamy, creamy box there. Yeah. That was interesting. What is it? Ben. Derivation? Ben. Word and phrase game. Okay. Never heard of it. What about you? No. All right. Let's go to the kitchen stuff. Ready? I did see. Guess who? <laughs> Brand new? Yeah. Let's put it in the cart. Yeah. Man, more of these things are showing up. Yeah. So many people are donating them. All right now there's two of them here. Yeah, because the Instapot does the same thing. Yeah. That one looks really nice. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I wonder if we need this for the poker tournament. <laughs> Maybe. 
it's thirty dollars though too. So this one is crazy. Margaritor. I think it's a little bit of a risk, Burr. What do you think? It looks like it's missing something from inside. Yeah, I think it is. Then put it back. Yep. Otherwise, they're selling for like fifty to seventy-five dollars. Mm -hmm. Margarita maker. Okay. Is this a deep fryer? Yeah, it is. Yeah. That's an air fryer. Yeah. But this one's so an actual deep, deep fryer. fryer. Yeah. Never actually seen one that I remember seeing. I should get this for my friend on YouTube, Shani Sells. Yeah. <laughs> That's Nordic. Pretty. Yeah, I've never really liked the plastic ones either. Yeah. Corningware Creations. See anything interesting on that side? Mm -hmm. Me either. Let's go to the electronics. So what I discovered is that my jacket was making a lot of noise when I was looking at a lot of these peg items. So that's why I'll probably jump in here because I thought it was interestingly enough, en enough to show the video, but not interesting enough to leave the really bad audio in. <laughs> so here I was looking at a Hallmark Magic Cord. They're only worth about $10, so definitely not worth picking up. Just looking through all these electronics here, so my coat was making all kinds of noise on the, the camera. Otherwise, we may have had some good audio, like right here. How much was it? I didn't see. $4.99. Okay. I'll think about it. Put it in the cart, please. Okay. That one has, is an Xbox, so I don't know much about it, but it looks interesting. So now I was checking out this digital camera. What I'm looking for in digital cameras, I set a hard and fast rule of it needs to be worth about 12 megapixels, right? That seems to be the delineator line between non-value and value, not all the time and definitely not for all models. So you could definitely do some research and do a little bit of comping. And I was like, I was kind of interested in it, couldn't find the megapixels on there. So I ended up putting it back. Uh, I don't know, maybe I should have picked it up, who knows? Uh, looking for the remotes in there, looking for sometimes GPS units, right? What I think is funny is that there are a couple more of those Wii Mario Kart uh, steering wheels up there. The ones in the back of the store were $2.99 and those were $6.99, I think, or maybe $5.99. Realistically, they're not worth all that much. I tend to just buy them and then bundle them with a Mario Kart with a Wii system. And I can usually get something like $200 for that when I do that, especially around Christmas time. Uh, but you still got to pay attention to how much you're paying for them, right? And realistically, I want to get them as parts of bundles during the summer at garage sales or even get them for maybe a dollar, something like that. And usually by the end of the season, I've got a pile of them sitting around I'm able to do a bundle or two uh, with the systems, which is usually a really good deal. Uh, let's see, what else is going on in here? There really, was, there really wasn't a ton of stuff on the pegs here for electronics today, but fun to look nonetheless. My favorite place. Oh, I didn't even see that. So I had seen the channel Flippin' Junk pick up a couple of these recently. Never really had paid much attention to them before, but obviously anything that's new is going to be worth a little bit more. This one looked like it was new adjacent. Good? Yeah. Okay. Books, please. You're up. I'm up. <laughs> Now looking into the case area, you can see now that they've kind of got their construction done. They're starting to rebuild, starting to refill some stuff. And there's a couple of video game uh, systems back there, an Xbox 360 and a Wii, which I'm gonna take a look at the Wii here and probably pick it up. You got a whole bunch of Stife Bears back there, I think. Yeah. Yep. The flute. I saw the flute, that's neat, huh? Yeah. And a Wii for $20? It's actually not a bad price for it. 
What do you think? They got 20% off. Yeah, but they need so much work. Yeah, they do. And you don't know what they need. True. So. I'm always like, maybe there's a Mario Kart inside it. <laughs> the Wii, silly girl. The Wii. I thought you meant the flute. No, I said the, the Wii is only $20. Oh. Should I get it? Oh. And you said, no, they need so much work. And I was like, I oh, well, okay. I can get it for 20% off, right? So $16. It's not a bad deal. Then there's the 360 up there for $15. How much can you sell it for? <sighs> At least 50 Yeah. Yep. I think it's a yes. Okay. You want me to get them? Yeah, I think so. Okay. We'll do a second pass. So that is going to do it this week, you guys. Thank you for coming along with me. I'm always trying to evolve these videos, so I appreciate you putting up with any changes or anything like that. Also trying to uh, you know, follow the feedback. I was told that it was a little bit moving too fast, so trying to cut out some of those big turns. And then now I kind of know also I've got to take my jacket off if I want to keep some of the audio in. Otherwise, you guys are going to be putting up with some pretty crazy audio or something crazy going on. Uh, hopefully all of the comps got put up on screen. You were able to see all those. We actually had a pretty good day. You can see here as we're kind of following or walking around the store here that I've got a pretty full cart at the moment. And yeah, I ended up picking it all up. I think I spent $108 and it's about just over $300 in value. It's not like the most home run days ever, but always a good day when you can find some stuff. So if you've enjoyed this video, please do smash that like button. And if you're interested in more content like this, I try to put up a live thrifting video every Saturday. Please do subscribe. And if you're interested in just being notified, you'd hit that bell icon, please. Once again, my name is Patrick and thank you very much.